Hi everyone, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to um, give you a peek into my sunlight instructor guide. I get a lot of questions about how I use the guide, um, how my son uses his student guide, and so I thought I would just give you a little peek and um, show you what's inside of it, show you what I do with it each week, and um, hopefully that will help you make a decision when you are um, choosing your curriculum for next year. So. As you can see, this is a very um, thick instructor guide. Huge. <laughs> um, so I'll show you. Um, let's just open this up, and I will show you how I use it so I don't have to cart this thing around. So my son is in level 100. Um, this year he is in eighth grade. You'll see um, this is number 120, the Bible History, Geography, and Biographies. It's for grades 7 through 11. So they do span a number of years, which I really appreciate. You can use them with um, multiple students. Um, my next closest to my son is in 6th grade, so she's not with him. Um, so just my 8th grader is using this, but he's really, really enjoying it. So this is it. You'll see um, Sunlight has these tabs for you. It goes through all 36 weeks. This is the first section. Um, so let's see, we'll just open up as long as I put back the weeks. Yep, okay. So we'll open up to, this is week two. You'll see every single thing is laid out for you. These are the lesson plans you will need for each week. Your entire year is laid out for you. So I said, um, this is Bible, history, geography, and biographies. So you've got day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Now Sunlight does give you the option of getting a four day schedule. I just chose a five-day schedule this year. Um, next year I will probably go with four, but we'll see. So it is so simple. It is literally just as simple as looking in your instructor guide. If you start school on a Monday, this is day one, you're in week two. This is what your child's going to be doing for Bible, for history, for geography, current events. They give you examples of what they should be doing in current events. Um, my son loves doing current events. He's super excited about this. And then, as you go down, again, super simple. They lay it all out for you. Day one has your Bible, gives you a little bit more notes, your history, geography, and biographies. So you can see how detailed this is. Up here is your general lesson plans. And then down here, you have each day laid out for you, each subject laid out for you. You have exactly what your child's doing. And then you have some notes for you as the parent. So he's going to be reading a history of U.S. Book 1, chapters 13 and 15. This is the vocabulary you should be going for, uh, going over with him or her. And then it continues with lots and lots of notes. So to discuss after you read, this just gives me prompts. I don't always um, use these exact questions I did toward the beginning of the year just because I was getting used to sunlight and getting used to... Um, the way that they kind of prompt you to teach and then I just kind of made up my own questions as we went along but I really find having these questions in the instructor guide is super super helpful especially because I have I have seven kids and this year really only four of them are homeschooling um, but it's just sunlight makes it so simple literally my entire year is laid out for me here and I so appreciate this so then over here you have timeline and map activities. Uh, my son does keep a timeline. It was included uh, with our curriculum. So they give you prompts that you can, um, that he can label and mark in his timeline as he goes through the year. And then again, it goes through the same thing. This is day two. So this would be what he is doing on a Tuesday. So it's just super simple. And then in the same section, the same week, we've got week two. And it's the same idea. They lay out five days of the week, but this is the literature and language arts. So again, you'll see the same thing. He's reading Peace Child. These are the chapters he's reading through the week. This is the poetry he's reading. I mean, everything is laid out. Um, it tells you alternative spelling, gives you spelling words in here so he can take a pretest, and then he writes out his sentences and his words through the week, and then he takes a post-test at the end of the week. We are not using Wordly Wise with the amount of vocab um, and spelling words in here, we decided it just wasn't necessary. So again, same thing. Day one, to discuss after you read, they give you vocabulary. And it just goes like that, language arts. 
notes to mom and dad, which I appreciate. Um, and this is, like I was saying, the alternative spelling. This is what we use. So these are his words for the week. So I will just give him a pretest in the beginning of the week. Then we kind of go over and um, he writes out these words midweek and then he might write out the words on Thursday, um, write out sentences using the words on Thursday. And then on Friday, he will take a test for the week and see how he does. It's been working really well. Um, this is the first year he hasn't done like a formal um, spelling curriculum. And I've been really impressed actually. He's a naturally good speller, um, but even these questions, these helped a lot this year. So his spelling has definitely improved dramatically. So that's what these lesson plans look like. Now, if I flip through past all the 36 weeks, Oh, one thing I did want to note, um, I have a separate teacher, um, I have a separate homeschool binder that I use and I will link that um, video for you. I take out his week, whatever week we are working on, I will just take it out. So if he's on week 27, I take out only week 27 and I put it in my smaller teacher binder. That way I don't have to carry this thing you know, throughout the house with me um, and I just have the week that he's working on. And then also if we go away, uh, we've gone away quite a few times this year and it's so easy to just take this and go. I take a few weeks at a time with us. I put it in my smaller binder. Um, he takes his and he takes his books because everything is laid out for him so he knows exactly what he needs for you know one week, two weeks, three weeks, however long we're gone. Um, and, and he doesn't have to miss a beat. So that's been super helpful too. So let me get to the next section. There's a few different sections in this guide here. Okay. This is instructor guide resources. Um, this section you will see, this is quite thick. Uh, this has so much information. In the beginning, you'll see every kind of map that you could ever need doing history this year. We have field trip planning sheets, timelines, suggestion schedules, um, life skills, inaugural address. So there's just a lot of different articles in here. Um, some we've used, a lot we haven't, but I really appreciate that the sunlight just includes all of this in here, um, just for extra resources for us, notes on biblical dates. Um, and then they have maps that go along with the literature that he's reading throughout the year too. So it's not only the historical maps, but this has been um, good to go through when he's reading his literature. And, um, and then in the back of this, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Oh, yeah. Instructor guide resources here too. There's some extra stuff back here how to write papers. There's a lot about um, geography and spelling, a lot of literature, um, sorry, language arts, um, things right back here. How to write a working outline. So this helped him a lot with writing research paper process. That was instrumental this year. I really appreciated them including that stuff. And then some more, I already showed you these maps here. I say I think that's about it, but really, <laughs> there's so much included. Um, you have your scope and sequence, of course. There's so much included in this guide, it is crazy. This is like the best thing ever this year, like the best thing we ever decided. Um, it's been so good for him. He really appreciates having everything laid out. Um, not that I have flown by the seat of my pants for the past seven years, I definitely haven't, but um, I definitely pieced together our curriculum. You know, history might be from this place and math from this place and language arts from this place. And while I made my own lesson plans, um, it didn't seem as structured as my son needed. So having this thing, my son's student guide is the same size as this. It doesn't have all the notes, of course, but it, I mean, it has a good majority of it. So it's just as thick. Um, and then in the back, I didn't show you that part, but um, section four back there is really just how to use the guide, um, set up general sunlight things, things like that. So um, hopefully that helped. I know especially when I was researching my son's level, I didn't see a lot out there for level 100. So I hope this helped, um, especially if you have someone, a student in between grades seven and 11, and you might be looking for level 100. 
I hope this helps you, um, you know, get a peek into the instructor guide and see really how simple it is. See how much sunlight lays out for you and it's really, really, truly just grab and go. I really am so thankful for it. This year has just, it's been so much easier this year with my son. So um, thank you to Sunlight. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer. Thanks a lot. See you next time.